I've got a photo here of me in Haiti. Um, and I just wanted to talk about some of the unexpected benefits of shelter boxes involvement in communities. So we all know about the great stuff that shelter box does and you know the outcomes that it can get on getting getting people back to their own independence wherever they live in what whatever way that they see that independence being. But there are also some unexpected benefits that we don't really think about. So in this photo I'm with a young chap called Eli, Eli Judy. Uh, when we came into Haiti, uh, as the first team in, we were looking for translators. And we went to a, a, a local college, we met three young lads, Eli was one of them. They ended up spending three weeks with us. Uh, they came everywhere with us and they did an amazing job at translating. These are just English students from a local school and they really stepped up and they really worked with us proactively. You can see Ellie here with Mr. Bill Woodard uh, doing some translation with a local community group on how our equipment works. So when we moved away from Haiti, I stayed in touch with Ellie on Facebook um, and he set up his own translation uh, service. The man works with uh, non-government organisations, he works with, with, with governmental bodies. He's really gone on to great things. And it all stems back to some of the work that he did with Shelterbox following the hurricanes of 2016. It's just a really positive story that we don't normally think about because it's not directly associated with the aid that we've distributed. 